Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Behind the Glitter. In today's video, we are going to make a miniature version of Tesla coil. For those who don't know, Tesla coil is an electrical resonant transformer circuit designed by inventor Nikola Tesla in 1891. So let us begin with the most commonly used slayer excited circuit for making our Tesla coil. It consists of these primary and secondary coils arranged coaxially to form a resonant transformer. And here we use this NPN transistor as a switch. When we supply positive at its base, it will turn on the switch and when we supply negative at its base, it will turn off the switch. At first, when we turn on the power supply, the voltage in the primary coil will raise from zero to maximum. And this sudden raise of voltage induces a voltage inside the secondary coil and thus making the base of the transistor negative. Then the transistor switches off the supply and the voltage in the primary coil will drop from maximum to zero. And this sudden drop in the voltage will reverse the polarity of the secondary coil and thus making the base of the transistor positive again and this cycle continues to oscillate. So let us start by making the secondary coil. For that let us wind 30 gauge copper wire over a 1.5 inch PVC pipe for 25 cm length. If my calculations are correct, we will be getting around 1250 turns and that means it can generate a voltage of around 4000 volt at the output. It took me more than 2 hours to wind this thing completely. Now let us make the primary by winding a 14 gauge wire over a 2 inch PVC pipe. And we need around 4 turns in the primary. Now for building the circuit, we will be using a TIP31C NPN transistor and a 47 kilo ohm resistor. First let us solder the 47 kilo ohm resistor onto the base of the transistor. Now attach two wires on the other end of the resistor and connect another wire onto the emitter of the transistor. And these two are the input for our circuit. Now add another wire onto the collector of the transistor. And these two will be the input for our primary coil. And I am adding these crocodile clamps onto the end of these two wires. So that later it will be easier for us to adjust the number of turns in the primary coil. Now add another wire onto the base of the transistor. And this will be the connection to our secondary coil. So our circuit is almost complete and now let's mount everything on a platform. And you must add a heatsink for your transistor if you don't want to get it blown out due to the string heat generation. And if you want to run it for a longer period of time, add more transistors in parallel with the current one for sharing the load. Now let's attach our secondary coil to the circuit. Now mount the primary coil on our platform. And let us begin by adding 3 turns on the primary coil. Here I am using 12 volt as input, so it will be generating approximately 5000 volt at the output. So let us turn it on and see what happens. Here what you are seeing in this video is air getting ionized and turning into the fourth state of matter that is plasma, which is in fact extremely hot. Now let's add a metal plate onto the secondary winding so that it will act as a capacitor and store the charge. Now let's do some testing and see what it is capable of. The best part of Tesla coil is that it can generate wireless energy. Even though we cannot see that, there is a huge amount of electric field surrounding the coil. And this field will excite the mercury vapor present inside the fluorescent tube. And thus it will emit a photon in the UV range. And when this photon hits the phosphorus coating inside the tube, it will get converted into visible light. So in this way, it can illuminate any fluorescent bulb that is kept in close proximity with Tesla coil. So thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already for watching more videos like this. So see you with another one next week. Till then, bye bye.